Hello, everybody. Welcome to Same Spirit Gaming. My name is Matt. And I'm Jordan. And <laughs> shaking things up a little bit today, partially because my Xbox is being dumb at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be playing a game called Deception, or at least a demo of it. So right. it's supposed to be a card and dice based roguelike game and uh t -t -t oh there's a continue i didn't even know that was a thing well i'll do a new game Those just so we two, can go from the start two genres that i love so this is very interesting to me okay so the general gist to my understanding is you use the cards and the dice in combination to do whatever you're doing. Um, okay. The how much the cards do on their own is dependent on like poker hands. Mm -hmm. um, and the different colors kind of specify what type of thing that they do. Uh, okay. Red red will attack. Uh, purple is like kind of magic, but both both red and purple deal damage essentially. Okay. Uh, green gives you health. Blue gives you like armor. Okay. I see. I'm sure it'll make sense as we go along as well. And then the the dice essentially add multipliers to the cards based on their values and, like, Yahtzee-type rules. Oh, cool. Um, so, while I have just about a flush here, that's all blue. Yeah. So I'm not entirely sure if I want to just gain armor. Yeah, that's true. Um, in light of that, I will... Oh, right. I gotta... Got to remember the controls here. So I think I will keep the queens. All right. Um, if you look top left, you see how many hands I have available and how many times I can discard cards to get new ones. <clears throat> nice. Okay. Um, That's helpful. So I think for now, I'm just going to keep the queens. A pair. And re-roll to see what else... Or, Discard this stuff and see what else I get. Okay. Hopefully I'm remembering all the buttons correctly. <laughs> okay, see, mm -hmm. now we also have a pair of tens. Yeah, two pair. Not so bad. even though one of those is blue, I at least I'm not going like all armor with it. Yeah. I could try for a full house at this point. Uh, you know what? One more. Yeah. Nope, okay. Uh, oh, I'll wait, so you didn't get a full hand that time? No, so you only you only draw as many cards as you discard. Mm. Unless it's the first, you know, set that they give you for the hand. Okay, I see. Okay, so I'm going to play those cards. And I, th I think it's only the ones that are relevant to the, you know, whatever pairs or anything like that that you've made that actually apply. Okay. Uh, now for the dice here. Um, could go for a full house with that. Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> you get three re-rolls of the dice per, hand, per card hand <laughs> that you play. Okay. Um, so now I will play the dice. So that added a times 30 multiplier to the stuff that the cards did. Nice. Wow. So now Seems I go like to the next lot. hand, and we continue doing more stuff like that. <clears throat> okay. And I didn't see... Oh, okay. They did do damage to you. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but I also gained shield, so that's why it... Doesn't look like much. Okay. Top Got right it. is the enemy in question. I see. Um, okay. 
Now I gotta figure out what cards I want to use out of this. Um, I guess the pair of sixes aren't bad. Let's see what else I get from there. Well, shoot, if I had kept a three... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> um. Uh, it's been a while since I. I think I might keep the here. king in case I pair that up. Well, geez, okay. Uh, I got another six. Uh. And unfortunately, I might just have to go with that. And you know what? One more. Nope. Okay. Well, then I'll just... I don't want to use all of my discards right now. Yeah. <coughs> um, okay, now for the dice. Three of a kind is good. Uh, I got a pair of twos. So what else I get? Another two. Three twos. Four twos. Four twos. <laughs> okay, just four twos. That's amazing. But because there wasn't as much going on with the cards, I didn't deal a whole lot of damage this time. Okay. So it's all... It's all got to work together. Yeah. I'll definitely keep these jacks. Maybe the ace. Although I do need to make sure that I'm dealing a good bit of damage. And the ace would not do that, so maybe not the ace. Alright, let me see what else I get. Ooh, two more jacks. Hello. Dang. <laughs> so it is also eventually possible to alter your deck... Okay. And oh. maybe even end up with five of a kind. <laughs> that is cool. Interesting. But not possible right now. <laughs> okay. Um, I see three sixes over here with the dice. Jeez. Oh, hello. <laughs> I think this is going to be a win here. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Play the dice. It's over. Times 90. <laughs> that turn alone, if you look just above the enemy health bar, you can see how much attack and magic damage we did. <laughs> that turn alone, it was a combined 5.4 thousand. Jeez. We would have been one hit KO. Yeah. Sometimes it happens like that. All right. So, in between enemies, you get a shop here that comes up you can buy new cards if you have enough buy specialized dice that will give an extra boost to that color um, or buy any of the bonuses you see at the bottom I currently don't have enough money for anything other than upgrading to pair which I'm not sure I want to do yeah because it's not even by that much I'd rather save Okay. So, next floor. And there you have it. That's the general gist of this game. This is cool. I like it. Hmm. I like it. It's nice that they kind of keep it simple with, like, playing cards and dice because there's a lot of card games where it just... Like, they introduce all these new monsters and equipment, and it's like you have to relearn yeah. all this stuff. This makes it simple. All right, so I'm keeping the 10, 8, and 7 because that gives me both straight and flush possibilities. Nice. Yeah. That's really good. Come on. Well, fooey. That doesn't really help me with either. <laughs> I could make it two pair, but... Uh, so hang on, what are the multipliers here? Two pair is 1.25. Uh, straight or a flush would be at least two times. Uh, let me get another set of cards here, see what I get. Hello, well, there's a flush, so that's pretty good. 
Yeah, that'll do. <clears throat> and it's all attack stuff. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we need the big multiplier. Yeah. The big markiplier. <laughs> um. Oh yeah, so the values, like the numbers on the dice, affect the multiplier as well. Okay. It's like that times, you know, whatever boost we get from the, like, set of dice. Okay, um, I do still think I'm going to keep the threes there. And, okay, well, now we got two fives. It's not bad. Can go for another three or five. Aha! Three! <laughs> nice. Okay. Yahtzee. <laughs> no, it's not Yahtzee. <laughs> anyway, so we play those, and boom, enemy gone, all in one shot. <laughs> <laughs> Who needs deck improvements when you have luck? <laughs> yeah, well, sometimes the luck runs out. <laughs> Uh, honestly, for the most part, I'm trying to save up to either get dice that are red or purple. Yeah. Which, by the way, changing that changes, like, the whole set of your dice. So oh. once you pick one, you probably want to kind of try and stick with that. Because then I think okay. if you buy more of that same color, it, like, increases the boost even further. Got it. Um, and as far as cards go, I probably only want to bring in red or purple. Yeah. For the most part. So, I'm going to not buy anything again and move to the next floor. All right. So, <clears throat> now that we have the general gist of this, pretty much whenever... It seems convenient. We could bring in uh, Bible verses. Yeah. Let's do it. All right. So this is, uh, I have one from John, the Gospel of John, four, chapter 14. Um, I'm going to read verses 22 through 27. Um, it's a little bit longer, but, um, basically, okay, the concept, uh, the context, excuse me, is, um, Jesus has, uh, kind of told his disciples that, like, they're anxious about what's coming for Jesus. I think he told them maybe in the previous chapter about his death and resurrection, or maybe, am I, let me see where this is. don't know the full, con yeah, that's about right. Okay. Um, he's telling them about the Holy Spirit who, that is going to come <coughs> as their advocate. Uh, and I will start with verse 22. Then Judas, not Judas Iscariot, said, But Lord, why do you intend to show yourself to us and not to the world? Jesus replied, Anyone who loves me will obey my teaching. My Father will love them, and we will come to them and make our home with them. Anyone who does not love me will not obey my teaching. These words you hear are not my own. They belong to the Father who sent me. All this I have spoken while still with you. But the Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you all things and will remind you of everything I have said to you. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give you, I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. I think I actually read that last part recently. Um, <coughs> but uh, I kind of wanted to expand on it a little bit, I guess. Um, because I kind of saw that. Uh, I like how it also clarifies it's not Judas Iscariot. It's just Judas. <laughs> Which, yeah. by the way, was, it used to be a, very, this is a side tangent, but Judas used to be like a really heroic name. It was like, oh yeah, you want to have a really cool name, you name your kid Judas, because um, 
in um, Maccabees, which is not, you know, uh, part of the, you know, it's part of the Catholic Bible, basically. There was a uh, Jewish hero. He was like a war hero, Judas the Hammer. Um, and he was like super epic and went to a ton of wars and did battle. And so it was like seen as this super epic name, but now it has like a completely different connotation. Um, oh, sorry, Judas Maccabeus, which translates to Judas the Hammer. Anyway, um, okay, back to the passage. <laughs> there were multiple Judases, I guess, but uh, basically Jesus is saying, um, anyone who loves me will obey my teaching. My father will love them. We'll come, we will come and make them uh, our home with them. The way I'm interpreting that, like when I first read it, I was like, okay, uh, you know, anyone who loves me will obey my teaching. Well, okay, what do I have to do? Like, what does that mean? He taught so many things. What do I have to do to kind of uh, show that I love Jesus and live a life like that? But I think after like thinking about this and reading it a little bit more, it seems like he's more saying, uh, especially in the context of talking about the Holy Spirit, he's basically saying, um, don't worry, because if you love me, you all of that will just come and the advocate the holy spirit is gonna basically teach you and change your life and have you remind you to do the correct things and um it'll be a natural kind of thing like you don't have to make a super conscious effort and worry and all that kind of stuff i mean all of that's in there like especially verse 27 it says do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid um and yeah, the Holy Spirit will teach you all things and remind you of everything I have said to you. So at, at first it made me a little bit nervous, but then now like kind of rereading it and thinking about it, it's like, you know what? You don't need to worry because if you truly love Jesus, want to have a relationship with him and um, you're really trying to, to live a, a Christian life, then you really don't need to worry. And follow your conscience and uh, I guess kind of your gut and your common sense like you know what's right and wrong you know believe in yourself believe that you know what what the right things to do are or perhaps more accurately believe that the spirit is within you and correctly guiding you yes yeah exactly Because yeah, I think, yeah, like, it's 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 nothing in and of ourselves naturally yes. that has us doing the right things. But you know, if we're truly seeking after God and seeking to follow the example of Jesus, like, those will naturally put us in tune with the Spirit to an extent that we shouldn't have to worry about like every little thing that we do and whether or not that's the correct thing to do yeah that's a yeah <clears throat> and that is a really important distinction that i didn't quite get across it is this the holy spirit that helps us with that because we are sinners by nature <laughs> so but do not worry and <clears throat> do not be afraid because God is with us and God will guide us. Okay. Meanwhile, I've made it through a couple more floors in the game. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, I was uh, kind of rereading as I was explaining, so I might have missed some stuff. <laughs> Uh, I did go ahead and get some purple dice. Oh, nice. There we go. Okay. That's... So I'm not 100% sure how it works, but I think that's supposed to give, like, an extra boost specifically to whatever the purple cards would do. Oh, okay, okay. I see. 
seven. But like, five. okay, so we had, so we had like eighteen in purple there. I'm not sure of the math off the top of my head. If just that times seven point five would get us to one hundred thirty-five. Uh, seems like it should be more, right? 18. And if it would be more than oh, that, wait. explains the purple dice, maybe. Yeah, okay. Or, I don't know. I'm still not 100% sure how all that works. Literally, when you first play the game, it gives you an 18 page in the game <laughs> set of rules to look through <laughs> oh wow <laughs> that explain how the game works so <laughs> unless you really take time to sit there and read all of that all the way through it like it, there's probably going to be some stuff that you miss in the explanation yeah I like to learn as I go, or learn as I do. <laughs> uh, darn it, if I would have kept the 10, I'd have a full house now. <clears throat> and one more redraw. Nope, okay, that didn't help. <laughs> Guess I'm just doing the 8s. Which is kind of unfortunate, because only one of them actually does any damage. Crazy eights. Um. Again, there's so many times I see it go one, two, three, five, six. Yeah. That's, that's not helpful weird. on its own. <laughs> see, and I've gotten into a habit of just keeping the five and the six when that happens, cause like most, more often than not, it seems like I don't end up getting a four then to complete the straight. See, there I got another five and six. Yeah. Two pair. So I only end up with two pair, but it's a high value two pair. So. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's still, I'm going to need to do a lot of damage here. <laughs> I have one hand left. I need to do about 2.6 damage. And hardly any of these are damage cards. <laughs> Yeah, what are you supposed to do? Do you just, like, redraw the whole hand? Or? Um, other option is I just keep the purple ones and hope for a flush. Yeah, that didn't help. <laughs> um, or now I keep the red ones and hope for a flush. Yeah. <laughs> I only have one more redraw left. Uh, and it was not enough, but I've got two pair here at least. So yeah, that's something. Uh, the two queens and the two threes. Although that's still probably not going to be a lot of damage. All right, <laughs> well, high multiplier then. Going to go for Come all on. sixes. Well, that didn't help. <laughs> I've got one, two, three, and four right there. It's so. <laughs> Tempting to want to go for a straight, but ah, oh, jeez. Okay, fine. Keep the fours. This is See if brutal. we get any more. No, of course not. Uh, well, I think that's going to be a loss on this one. Jeez. Oh my gosh. Wait you, a second. But don't you still have health? No. Yeah, but it's like you only get the three-hand limit to defeat the uh, enemy. Okay, I didn't That's part of the reason it gives part. you a couple of revives in each run, though. Oh, you have to beat him in three. Okay. I didn't quite get that part. Yeah. Wow. That's brutal. Alright, well, let's try again. <laughs> Still not a lot of damage dealers. Uh, I got three of a kind there. Two of them deal damage. Okay, plus two jacks, at least one of which deals damage, so... Yeah.
Okay. Uh, we got two sixes. And two twos. Come on. Hey, there we go. There we go. Watch it. Yep. <laughs> I'm like, watch uh. it be a one shot. <laughs> it's just the luck of the dice in the cards sometimes. It's the name of the game. <laughs> well, what do you say we kind of pause things there for now and pick it up from that spot in the next episode? That sounds good to me. I like this game. It's it's uh, yeah, kind of right up my alley. By the way, one last thing. I'm going to get another thing of... Uh... Okay, so effect, two times multiplier on all magic cards. But if I buy another one, is that going to... Eh, maybe I still need to buy more than that. I don't know. Okay. Maybe we'll find out next time. <laughs> On Same Spirit Gaming. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. See you next time. Bye. All right. Bye, everybody. <laughs>